On the 4chan paranormal board X, there was a thread with the title, Some guy has a channel dedicated to stalking random people. The channel in question is called Peaceful Watcher, and he has been uploading videos for almost two months now. What he does on his channel is weird, to say the least. He goes out in public and films random people without their consent. He gives these people names. Whether he really knows the names or not is unclear at first glance. It makes the impression that the YouTuber sees this as a form of hobby, comparable to animal documentaries in the nature. The thing also is that he's not just filming a public place and observes people who pass by. Rather, he's picking specific people and follows them, even knows their names or at least gives them names. He also figures out their schedules and knows a lot about them. A few people on 4chan called or wanted to call the police for the sake of helping the victims. Some anonymous tips have been made from what I've seen. Others claim to live in the area, though some add-ons suggested to contact the victims and let them know what's up. I mean, it's definitely somewhat off that people don't realize him filming, but I guess a lot of people just mind their own business and don't check their surroundings. Even if they would realize that Peaceful Watcher is filming, they would probably just assume he is filming the street or the nature or something, not necessarily them. In the following, I want to go through the majority of Peaceful Watcher's videos and form a conclusion based on what he provides on his channel. I also want to quickly mention that the upload schedule changed now. The videos will come out Tuesdays from now on, since you guys seem to be more active on Tuesdays compared to Mondays. Other than that, don't forget to sub if you enjoy the content, check out the Discord and let's get into this. Before we start with the videos, the avatar of Peaceful Watcher's channel is rather low resolution, you can't really see him. Here's a higher resolution picture which gives us a better idea of who's behind the account. The first video serves as an introduction video. He explains what a Peaceful Watcher is. It's someone that watches other people for fun. The reason as to why he created his channel is because there aren't many other watchers on YouTube. His way of defining his hobby and contrasting it to simple stalking is that he has a special code that he follows. He will never watch women or children. He will not film people doing things that are intimate or when they are vulnerable. If he takes something away from them, it will be of no value. Lastly, he will never get in contact with them. When he watches people, he thinks of them as regular friends that he hangs out with. In the comments, we can see someone arguing with Peaceful Watcher, telling him that he's just trying to rationalize stalking and he pretty much goes through the points in the video one by one. He responds to it, still trying to rationalize it, which just seems desperate at this point. All of the points lack general morals and ethics and he seems to refuse to realize it. Anyway, in a second video, we can see his first victim or target, George. If that really is his real name or not, remains unknown. Anyway, George seems to be in a shop, buying bait for fishing. In this video, Peaceful pretends that both of them are hanging out and having fun. He then talks about more things that George does. He knows his schedule because apparently he has been following him for quite a while. In the next video, he shows us his next target, Jesse. This video is very similar, but there is a point in the video where Peaceful films Jesse driving and he does a very bad job censoring the license plate. Through the license plate we now know his location, which is Texas. On X, Anons also found out that he must be living in San Antonio since the locations in the videos, for instance Wedderburger and Lushnail and Spa, are all located on the northern side of San Antonio. This is pretty much public knowledge presented in his videos. He goes around and shows where he films, which are well-known areas. I'm not exactly sure if this was the most intelligent thing to do, but it is what it is. The next video deals yet again with another one of his targets, this time Clayton. Through his constant observing of Clayton, he even figured out which routes he takes when he works out. Other than filming him, nothing else happens in this one. Next video is again someone new, this time Hector. 
Hector seems to be more cautious and paranoid than his other friends. The end of the video is really weird too. Hector looks around the corner and then runs away. We will come to this in later videos. There are people really defending Peaceful Watcher in the comment sections. I don't know if these are alt accounts or his IRL friends, but it's really suspicious nonetheless. The next video is an FAQ where he explains why he does what he does a bit further. He compares it to animal or nature documentaries. Therefore, he claims that watching people is pretty much the same thing. He wants to build a community of like-minded individuals and wants to distance himself from real stalkers since he is not interacting with his targets but rather is just observing them. He does not share his location nor face since he values his privacy, <laughs> which is the most ironic thing ever coming from him, but anyway. Peaceful sometimes has colored letters in his videos. Going through all of the videos gives us the four letters question mark G question mark R, which are obviously pretty meaningless, so I guess he just had trouble editing the videos and thus the colored letters, but it maybe could be the start of a YouTube URL, which will be continued the more he uploads. Anyway, Peaceful's first name is Lewis. In his next video, Strange Occurrence, he talks about his stalking experience. Someone passed by his house five times and apparently took photos of it. He also mentions a string of cold cases in his town. He goes more in depth in the comments. Now, as far as the cold cases go, I'm not too entirely knowledgeable, I just know what they say on the news. Apparently, the culprit chooses victims at random and starts by sending them messages. They know this because notes were found the victims' homes and then eventually the culprit takes them out after a few weeks. But I've always wondered why don't the victims call the police when they start getting these messages. I think maybe the culprit does or says something that makes calling the police a bad move, like maybe he blackmails them or has some kind of leverage on them. But that's really all I know about the cold cases, except they were unsolvable and all were really similar with the messages. Also I believe the culprit is now at 6 victims, so that's why everyone is on edge in my town. In the next video he again is observing George and at the end asks for people to stop pranking him. I am not entirely sure what this is related to but we probably will find out later on. In the video Clayton 2 it gets pretty interesting. At 1.46 there is a second or so where he films his desk. On there there is a note with a link on a piece of paper. On the paper we can also see the name Josh written on it. In the comments he claims that he privated or deleted the video and that it wasn't meant for the public but rather just for Josh, but the video to this date is still unlisted. I know the ARG vibes are definitely tingling right now, but let's check out the unlisted video. In the video we can see Clayton looking at a piece of paper on a bin. After he leaves, Peaceful Watcher then goes to that bin to see this piece of paper which pretty much confirms that this entire thing is an ARG. They apparently look into four different types of stalkers and what do you know? They mention Peaceful Watchers. Going onto the mentioned Instagram page, we could participate in a survey which now has been closed. Further, why would he even leave links to unlisted videos on his main videos? Also the way he films the people. That no one really noticed him is also hard to believe. The videos just seem to be staged. I also want to refer to a specific unlisted video where we can hear his voice. Okay, okay, I'm doing exactly what you said. I'm getting on video, look, hey, fugly, paste spin link. And I know it was you that put it on my card, dude. Peaceful Watcher also got wind of the X threat and responded to a few people. It honestly makes the impression that he was the one that posted the threat in the first place. But I must admit, this definitely was one of the better ARGs I have seen so far. It's not your usual spooky code or distorted video with backwards audio, 
but something actually fairly interesting. Well, I will not show the remainder of videos on the channel, but there are other unlisted videos and the entire thing turned more and more into an obvious ARG. The first few videos seemed somewhat legit even, no sign of it being an ARG, but now they made it super obvious. Maybe Piso was scared that people may come after him and decided to reveal it, I'm not sure. Either way, this was one of the better ARGs, thus I decided to cover it. If you decide to check out some of his videos, don't be an asshole since it is completely staged anyway. That will be the end of the video. I would greatly appreciate a sub, rating and a comment and I'll see you guys next week with a smaller video since I won't have time for an elaborate one. Until then, bye bye.